Good day everybody, this is Brandon from Agaris and today we're going over the 10 steps to starting a business. Looking for an easy way to find an accountant for your small business? Head to agaris.com to receive your three free quotes from our large source of trusted accounting professionals. Agaris, finding an accountant has never been easier. Now starting a business is no simple task. I'm going to break everything down into 10 steps, but I recommend doing your own research so that way you can learn firsthand. Now the first step is going to be doing market research. That way you can find out if you can turn your idea into a business. This will also help you determine who your target market is, what kind of competition you'll have, and what you can do differently from your competition to give you an edge. Step two is writing your business plan. This will help you determine how you're going to structure your business, how you're going to run it, and how you're going to grow it. This is also going to be good to convince any investors or business partners and get them on board. Now step three is figuring out how you're going to fund your business. Maybe you already have the money set aside in a savings account. Maybe you need to raise a little bit more before you start. There's always the option of receiving a loan so you can start your business that way. Either way, there are plenty of options of receiving capital so that way you can get started. Now step three and a half is hitting the like button and subscribing to Agaris. So step four is picking the location to run your business. Not everybody needs an office. They can run their business from their house. However, some people have professional clients that would prefer to be in an office environment. Regardless, you should look at your own business model and decide what location will work best for you. Step five is to choose a business structure. This is a legal structure that'll impact your business registration, your own personal liability, and how much you pay in taxes. Now, step six may seem pretty simple, but it's actually quite difficult. It's choosing a business name. You wanna make sure you're choosing something that captures what you're trying to do with your business, but isn't already registered. All it takes is a little bit of brainstorming and I know you'll be able to come up with something perfect. Now, step seven is registering your business. Now that you've got your business name, your business plan, and everything else planned out, you should register your business with the federal government, and you may need to register it with your state government as well, depending on where you're from. Now step eight, after getting registered, is getting a state and a federal tax ID. A tax ID for a business is like a social security number. That way it puts all tax liability on the business. Make sure you look up your state to see if it's necessary for you to get a state tax ID, because not all states are the same. Now step nine is applying for any licenses and permits you might need to run your business. Now depending on the industry, the state, or the job you wanna do might require different licenses or permits. So make sure you do the research for your specific business to see what you need. Now step 10 is opening up a business bank account. They're easy to set up and they can help with any tax, legal, or day-to-day -day fees. So those are the 10 steps to starting your business. Now I always recommend doing your own research so that way you have all the information for your specific situation as not all businesses are the same and they all require different stuff. Now after you've started your business, if you're looking for an accountant to help you with the finances of the business, head over to agaris.com and you can get three free quotes from our trusted source of accounting partners. So thank you very much for joining me today. As always, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section, hit the like button if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content from Agaris. This has been Brandon, thank you very much for watching.